Welcome fellow folders and this is a Christmas special. This is the second parcel I received from my Origami P.O. Box or P.O. Box. I like to say Origami P.O. Box because it sounds more interesting but the second of the three that I have received so far. I've opened one of them. Uh, this is the second unboxing. At the moment I'm going to do an unboxing video for each one. Until the point, if I do ever get too many, then I'll include a bunch in one video. So at the moment, it's only going to be one per video. And if you want free shout outs, um, this is your way to do it. The address is in the description and on the screen. Um, I'm going to call it again as usual. Um, who is going to be the first person to send me a Ryujin? If you do, I will literally give you three months shout out for three months of videos that I'll upload. I mean, a 3.5 for that that advertisement is a pretty good deal, a pretty good deal, I think. But anyway, this is the parcel. Um, it is by the Lundos. I of course um, added extra paper over the information which I obviously can't share, but that is my PO box address which I can share. Um, so it's to help protect their information. Um, I could have taken it all off beforehand, but because it's already all attached to the tape, most likely, um, it would already be opened by the time I started the video. So if you do send something and you have lots of information over, I will just cover it all up to make sure it's completely safe. You can't see it, you can't read it, etc. So it's only between uh, you and myself. Right, so we have Obviously a parcel this time, we had the first one, um, a flat package, so I'm going to guess that we have some sort of model or models, maybe there's paper inside, um, it could be smaller squares cut up, I have no clue, it is quite light, in fact, let me just weigh it to see how much it actually weighs. So we are looking at 181 grams, so that is, that is very light. Let's turn the scales off, there. Okay, so we have a small package and I'm not sure where I should cut it. If I should cut here or, Ronnie knows, I should cut here. I don't think I should, maybe I should cut here because this is upright. Most likely they would want me to open it from this position, not this way. So we're going to go with this way. So we're just going to use the scissors. Here we go. And also I'm recording in 4K. Make sure to watch it in 4K if your device allows it. Um, yeah, I'll just make a slip here. Oh no. Um, I don't want to damage the, the writing. I should have brought a better pair of scissors. And then the sides. Again, I'm going to be extremely careful just to make sure I don't pierce too much, go too far. I think I should get I should. No, it's better not. Yeah, I don't think I need to actually do that. Maybe just here. Easier if I cut it actually. And then just pull it down. If the scissors were sharper, then I wouldn't um, have to do this way, but this is probably the safest way. I'm definitely going to keep this packaging because this is a memory in itself right here. Um, it would be cool to see how many, how much of these I have at the like the end of next year. Like how much have I saved up? I know that sounds weird, but it, it, it means a lot to me to, to be able to do this. And again, it is really nicely wrapped. And very compact as well, so let me just double check. I'm not, I don't want to open this, this part here. I don't want to open too much to see, I want to try and make sure everything is nice and loose before we start. Okay, so I'll just get 
up, so that's fine. So, stage one is done. Um, I would have liked to have cut this neater, but it's still, still really nice. So, um, I'm just take some pictures as well, just to share after the uploads. Won't obviously show what's inside it. Right, so now we're going to open up and see what we have. Okay, we see something green already. I wonder what that could be. We have, looks to be some sort of uh, note. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. I mean, this is, I'm just going to, I just want to do this super slow, cherish the moment. Um, I mean, it's not often this is, this is going to happen. I hope it happens much more. So let's see what we have. Okay, so I'll need to blur that part because I had a bit of information on it. But we have, I'll read this last, so I'll put this to the side. I'll read that last. Okay, so we have nice green tissue from the looks and the sounds. Um, just open up and see what we have. Oh my god. I see a little pot, a little pot. That is so cute. Look at that. This is what I can see so far. Oh my god, what do we have here? Right, I just want to look at this. <sighs> look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. It's so cute. Thank you so much. Wow. I just want to say, it. I mean, like, you don't know how amazing this feels to have someone else's model in my hand. In my hand, um, this must be what it, what it feels like for someone to win a giveaway of mine. My I mean, giveaway models of paper, but to receive this instead is just amazing. Oh wow! It's just it's so intricate. It's so compact. It's super tiny. It's super cute. That is honestly. Oh, this is, this is a great start so far. Oh wow. That is amazing. And I'm very impressed by whoever has folded this. Um, we'll obviously find out at the note at the end. So I am super happy with this little plant that's going to go really nice next to my cactus. So thank you so much, that was amazing. And then we have... Is that a, a rose crane or a tetsuru crane? Can't remember. Again, it's just oops. It just feels amazing to have someone else's model in my hand. Wow. Wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. I don't even mind. I just want to keep it the way it is at the moment. Again, it's super. It's, just, oh, it's really nice, it's really nice. You know, I'm trying to find the right words to say, but I'm just mind struck on what to say. <laughs> this is the first set of models I have ever received. This is amazing. Oh my god. Oh. And these are the models that are going to be the first to be included to my unit upstairs. And if, if you didn't know, the idea was, depending on the amount of models I received, I would add them all to that unit upstairs and, if possible, fill it with everyone's models. That is the plan. But that is, that's just... I've never made a crane like this before. I've only ever made cranes as normal, but in 
when I did this years ago, thousands, of, uh, a thousand of them. But I think I'm definitely going to try this tape and other tapes as well. So again, model, uh, second model, amazing. Thank you so much. In fact, let's keep these in frame if possible. Yeah, I don't want to take them out. And let's go for this little pink gag. Oh, we have a little. <laughs> oh my god! How adorable is that little elephant? And do you know the funny thing is, the next model after the one I'm making the now, the rooster, is going to be an elephant. So, like, the chances of this, the chances of this. Oh, please tell me what elephant this is. I really want to make one myself. It's so adorable. Oh my god. I mean, I just like to sit back and look at others' folds. How they made it as well, the, the time and effort they put into each model. This is just like the best opening ever, it really is. And it's just so cute. Look at that. That is brilliant. That is, I need to make one of those myself. Definitely. Let's put them there. Oh, we have the chipmunk. I believe this is by Beth Johnson. Uh, again, I've never made this before. Never, never really had the type of paper to make this or made the paper, but to have it in my hand by someone else is amazing. I instantly love this curve. It's got the perfect curve and the perfect roundness on the sides. So it's not a curve that's straight, it's nice and curved all the way around. So that is great job again on this model and it's super, super small, super cute, very nicely folded. I just want to look at every angle of this model to see what it's like. And I love how the tail gets curled up, just like nicely tucked in here. And the funny thing is, guess what was at my back door? A squirrel. I'll have the picture on the screen. <laughs> What's the chances of that? It really, oh my god. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm bursting with excitement. I really don't know what to say. So again, thank you so much for that. That little fella is going to lie back right there. Oh, I think this is the... No, it's not. Oh, what do we have here? I thought that... I originally thought this was the Unicorn by Kimia, but it's not. It looks to be some sort of werewolf. Maybe Caddy Chans. I don't know. Again, I love the structure and posture of this model. We have extremely nice detail in the tail, it's very 3D visual. We have really nice pleats and overlaps on the legs, so it creates really nice shadows. Uh, the spread of the fingers is extremely nice. Oh, I heard Looper Meow, I'll let him in in one second. Um, again, the angle of it on its back legs, uh, standing upright, ready to Unleash a roar is super neat. Again, I want to make this model. This is super. This is adorable as well. Detail. And you don't often get the chance to hold someone else's model in your hands. Uh, even at the convention, you're not allowed to touch models, not to pick them up. So this is basically what it feels like and to have it as yours as well. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so nice. I mean, that, that's, that, that is a stunning model. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Oh, and I, I just noticed the details on the, the toes as well, and the legs. Great job. Honest, that is a fantastic job. 
I'm getting him to stand up right, don't you worry, I will slightly adjust to make him stand up right. Let me go and let in the looper, because he is me one. Next we have what appears to be a little dragon. Again, that's super adorable. And what I love instantly is how small the little feet are, the toes or the claws on the legs. Nice spread out wings. Again, the nice angle, pardon me, on the neck and the coverture on the tail. And of course the colour change on the wings as well. So great job. This is this is oh this is nice. And yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this model as well. right in with the collection. Thank you so much again. Hopefully you can see these on the screen. Let me just turn them around. You should be able to see it and oh oh wow oh what's this called? Is this the Chevel? Can't remember but we have really nice design and I don't think I've I've only ha uh, made one sort of horse before, which uh, I top secret gave away to someone's Christmas. And um, you'll find out soon enough. But this is stunning. From this angle, it's even better. We have the nice coverture on the hair, uh, the tail, the legs. It uh, really nice. I believe this is double tissue as well. I love the deep, rich red and black colour. Um, and of course that deepness coming out of the red and the nice shine on the black. How adorable is that head from that angle? And then this one as well. I'll definitely show uh, more pictures of this later on after it fully uploads but that is probably my favourite angle. I'm going to make this like a thumbnail if possible but that is stunning so thank you so much again and do we have anything else? No we don't so that is just obviously to help um, keep it all compact and to help prevent it from being damaged. So the models we have are right here. This is, I mean, I was expecting one model, not one, two, three, four, five, seven models. Seven models right here. <laughs> right. So let's see. And we have the person who folded all of this is Wesley Lundo, and he is 12 years old. So Wesley, thank you so much for making these models for me, for folding them, for taking the time to really nicely wrap it all up um, and of course send it to me. Oh, Looper, Looper, are these good enough? Oh, he's, he's facing the other way, but that is the sign of approval. If he jumps up on the table when there's origami on it, that means it is very good. If it doesn't, then it's not good. But this is very good. So, Wesley, you've done a great job. Uh, I'm really impressed by your folding, especially this pot. This is super unique. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen this before, actually. But I am over the moon um, with this model. 
It looks to be uh, quite intricate from the folding and the details. So, fantastic job. I am super impressed by this model. And you should be very proud of yourself for such a young age of 12 years old to make these models. And with this being what looks to be um, one of the most complex or the horse, um, you have real talent and I am super impressed and keep folding. And we're just going to see what this little note says just to make sure there's no information on it. Okay, so I need to hold it like this. So I need to read it. Wesley has written this note and it says, I am not good at creating new models, so here are my favourite models from other creators. I will put the name of the model and the name of the creator. So we have the Werewolf by LQD Money Origami. We have the Sprout by Ricardo Fosche. So that is what it is, the Sprout. We have the Squirrel by Beth Johnson. Again, very impressive for such a small size. Um, I know how what looks to be pretty complex this model, so that's a really good attempt and I'm very impressed. Elephant by Sofio Mobono. Where is, oh, here we go. Yeah, how, how could I miss this little pink guy? So, again, I forgot to mention the color change is really nice as well on this little, this little cutie. The Rose in a Crane by Satoshi Kimiya. So that's it's by, I never knew that was by Kimi himself. The Flying Dragon by um, Hang Zen Ming. I probably pronounced that wrong. And he has also wrote, and my personal favorite. So Wesley, this is your favorite. So I'm gonna make sure this gets a really nice spot on my display. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this to my, what I call my VIP cabinet, where I keep all of my best models. And this is gonna sit right in there somewhere. I'm gonna find a really nice spot for you, Wesley, um, because this is your favorite. So thank you so much. I'm gonna separate, oops, he's upside down. I'm gonna separate him from the rest. Uh, the Horse by Beth Johnson as well. Oh wow, so I definitely need to look up this design. So simple, yet so elegant. So thank you, uh, great job Wesley as well. And he has wrote, hope you like these models. So here we go, the note. How nice is that? This, I need to make um, like a wall of fame for notes that I receive. This is honestly amazing. And I couldn't be any happier with what I have received in this unboxing. I was not expecting this. Maybe one model, but to have seven as uh, like winning the lottery, it really is super nice. Can I get up the stand? Can I get you the stand? So thank you so much, Wesley, and with the help of your mum, Carrie, um, this is the best Christmas gift I have ever received, and I'm so happy to have saved this video for this moment. So thank you so much. I can't say thank you enough for this. It means the world to me, and I am, I was gonna say over the moon, which I am, I've said it again, I can't think of any other ways to express my happiness. So thank you so much to you both and I hope you have a lovely Christmas and a lovely new year if I don't hear from you, which I'm gonna to reply to you as soon as I make and upload this video to let you know um, it's uploaded. So thank you so much and I wish you all the best for 2021.